have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be his than have riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than houses or lands. I'd rather be led by his nail pierced hand than to be the king of a vast domain or be held in sin's red sway. I'd rather have Jesus than anything this world affords today. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. A muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that's weak and a back that's strong. You load 16 tons and what did you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. San Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. I was born, born, morning, it was drizzling rain. Fighting and trouble was my middle name. I was raised in a cane brick vine, old mama line. There ain't no honky tonk woman make me walk the line. You load 16 tons, what did you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. San Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go out my soul to the company store. Now, I used to sing this to my students when I did my student teaching. I was known as the singing sub all over greater Cincinnati and northern Kentucky. And I used to tell them, now there's 50 minutes in this class, 40 minutes of our mine and 10 minutes are of yours. I won't mess with yours if you don't mess with mine. And if you do, if you see me coming better, step aside. A lot of men didn't and a lot of men died. One fist of iron, the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will. You load 16 tons, and what did you get? Another day older and deeper in debt. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. I owe my soul to the company store. An old Tennessee Ernie Ford song sang by him and written by Merle Travis of Muhlenberg, Kentucky. God bless you all. Travels with John Stevenson here at the old Washington Street Courthouse. The Ferguson Building, here named after the county judge Bruce Ferguson. And I can remember riding in, sitting beside him when I ran for Commissioner of Agriculture many years ago in 1975. Tom Kelly was driving an old tractor 
pull an old rickety raggedy wagon. And there Bruce Ferguson, Judge Bruce Ferguson and I were riding on the wagon coming to the courthouse to announce that we'd been in all 120 counties of Kentucky, filming the history of all the counties in Kentucky and singing to all of them across Kentucky. And uh, the good Lord willing, back in comes 1992, we finally broke the ice for Northern Kentucky. And I was elected the first constitutional office holder of any of them from Northern Kentucky in over 70 years. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you've done and all that you continue to do in this my 80th year. And thank you for the smartest move I ever made with your help, because I couldn't have done it without you. Miss June Guyman Stevenson, my wife and partner, and my soulmate and best friend. Thank you for all my family, my four children, Holly, Pamela, Michelle, and Guito, or as I call him, Guy, and uh, all the grandchildren, wherever they are and whatever they're doing, the aunts and the uncles and the nephews and the nieces and all the Guymans and Stevensons, and including my old friend Darius Beach, who's going through some hard times right now. Maybe he'll get it straight, maybe he won't, but I'll still love him either way. People could leave him alone and let him die in peace, not worry about money and other things. Just follow the lead that's been laid for him by the Lord and do the right thing by Jesus Christ. That's what to do. And the same thing true with Mary White Shulkers. She's still in the hospital today for about the last seven days with low potassium, Lord, and we need to lift her up in prayers. Her house is sort of crumbling around her. And I hope I can get in there with my old friend, Tim Kaufman, and get it fixed up. Get the electric back on and working safely. New hot water heater, new roof on the place and fix the potholes and stop the water from running inside the house, down and filling the basement, and fix the hot water heater, and hope she has some peace in life after her heroic son, Stephen Shulkers, come home from Afghanistan to die in her little home, in her arms. Lord, watch over her and all the trouble she's got into by driving her car and having an accident. Watch over her in the trial that will come in February. And relieve her from having to wear this ankle bracelet, which has punished her and driven her to her almost near death. Surely in mercy they'll be shown to her by Judge Late and Judge Sanders, Prosecutor Sanders and his prosecutor, the young lady, and all the attorneys involved and everybody involved. Show a little mercy, show a little love, show a little tenderness. Remember, it's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love. We all need to love each other more. Red, yellow, brown, black, and white. They're all precious in Jesus' sight. God bless you in this event today that you happen to be a part of, honoring a man, Dr. Floyd Poor, who devoted his life to medicine and to making life better for everybody. He was a public servant in the real terms and did for those what he could do. Was he perfect? No, none of us are. We all make mistakes. We all overreach. We all break the laws in some form and fashion. But you know something, his heart was in the right place and he had a wonderful gifted mind that you'd given him for organization and to help others. And I hope I've done the same thing, Lord. Help others, give them a lift, like mom used to say in her poem, The Service to Humanity and the Lord is the Best Work of Life. So God bless you all. Read Mom's poem on Facebook and learn to live loving others and serving others. And are you ready? Are you ready for the Lord? He knocks on everybody's door, everybody's door he knocks on. But you have to reach down, turn the knob, invite him in. Invite him in yourself, into your heart. And then make a U-turn in life, as old Harold Pike, the Baptist minister, used to say. Make a U-turn in life and live for Jesus, working for Jesus, honoring Jesus. Read the scriptures. Listen to the old radio station, 31 years on the air with Gil and Jan Hammond and all the family. 
WIOK 107.5 FM on the radio dial, Tri-State Gospel, Post Office Box 50, Falmouth, Kentucky, zip code 41040. Tune them in. Send them a little contribution to become a partner like I've been for many, many years. Like Darius is now, a partner. A partner. For what does it gain a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul in the process? Let me tell you something. Money isn't the answer. Love and godly principles are the answer. That's the answer. Are you ready? There's a church waiting for you with a chair in it. As old Bill Guyman used to say, there's a chair here waiting for you in every church. Whether it's Catholic, Baptist, Protestant, whatever church. Get there and worship the Lord. Remember, there's only one way to heaven, and that's through Jesus Christ. Only one way to heaven. That's in Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. In all your ways, acknowledge God, and he will make your pathway straight. God bless you all. Thank you very much for allowing me to say the Lord's Prayer today and honoring Dr. Floyd Poor and his family and all the work that they've done for the Northern Kentucky area in all the positions that he's held. God bless you and have a great day. And remember, when Jesus knocks on your door, open the door and invite him in. You'll be surprised what it'll mean to your life and to your walk through life. Follow the trail. Follow the trail. Read your scriptures. Return the Bibles to our classrooms. Repost the Ten Commandments on every room in the state and schools and libraries and read them and understand them and live by them. It can make the difference in the world. It can make the difference in the world. Remember what Billy Graham taught us? 1956 when we gave our life to the Lord, rode that old rickety church bus down to Frank, down to Louisville, Kentucky. Brother Kerger and Polly, his wife, John Grisell, Vernon Likens, Vern, Walter Roden and Mr. Carl Covey riding with us, my little sister Judy and I, and all the other kids, down to Louisville to hear Billy Graham preach in 1956. And the audience was Gil Hammond, unbeknownst to us. There's where Judy and I gave our life to the Lord. Billy Graham preached that sermon. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict, God's job to judge, my job to love. And I've tried to do that through singing songs like I'd rather have Jesus that taught to me by George Beverly Shea. In my old Kentucky home, it was taught to me by Happy Chandler. And yes, uh, Cliff Barrows, the great leader of the choir, remembering that the choir is in every church making music for the Lord, making music for the Lord. So all those good songs like How Great Thou Art and whatever songs you sing that lift up the word of Jesus, the word of Jesus, help bring the message to the world. That's why the radio station, bringing the message to the world. Go out and bring the message to the world. Whether it be politics and government, or whether it be in the church, or whether it be in your job, whatever you're doing, lift up the Lord. Lift up the Lord, lead an example, and share love. God bless you and have a great day. I've enjoyed my visit here at the courthouse with the crowd and even being alone. Because you see, I'm never alone. Jesus is always watching. Jesus is always watching. And thank you for my wonderful Christian wife who studies her Bible regularly. We listen to the radio together every morning. With Adrian Rogers, David Jeremiah, Dr. Dobson, Dr. Dobson and Gil Hammond, all of great ministers, and uh, it's just a pleasure to, to listen to them. Have a great day now. If you got questions, give me a call, 859-750-0000. Join us on Facebook under John Stevenson. We're limited now to 35 minutes per, per, per posting, so I have to break things up into 35-minute segments. 
And then on YouTube, they won't let me load up right now, so but I do have a lot of videos there you can watch and see. Maybe someday they'll take the, the, the punishment off of me for trying to uh, help improve the quality of elections throughout the country by posting some videos of experts talking about that. They've taken my ability to load up on YouTube off for right now. So, but there's some there that you can see, the trips through Europe, the eight countries in Europe, and the trips through all 120 county, filming the history of all the counties. They're still there to be seen on YouTube, as well as Facebook. And Facebook is under John Stevenson. And if you want to become a party of something, there's the Independent Christian Party that June started back many years ago. www.independentchristianparty.com Look it up, you'll see it right there. All you got to do is read it. You don't have to do anything with it, against it, for it. Or you don't even have to send any money in. Just read it. Read it and live by it. God bless you and have a great day. We'll see you later on YouTube, Facebook, or on the website. Have a great day. Email us at smallj, small s, 750-0000 at gmail.com. God bless you and have a great day. John Stevenson here, Travels with the Stevensons.